one fighter in an alley to save your life. You could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts. And tonight, trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned with. True, one of, if not the best middleweights in the world. Introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. very hard in advance of this fight on his cardiovascular base and his strength and conditioning so that if he has to go a hard 15 or 25 minutes, he's the fresher fighter at fight's end. Let's see how he does early in this round. And trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This one is a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Frantic pace early on to this one. Lands the right hand over the top. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he's throwing bombs. Body attack, and it's blocked. Just over three minutes here to go round one. That was good, kid. Nice strike. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Strickland gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Costa. 
Ooh, lands a beautiful jab. Strickland's uppercut is blocked. Costa's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh! Oh, he hurt him again, bro. And we get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but... Oh, this could just about do it. Oh, big right hand! This is a great fight. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh! Beautiful combination! Oh, he got hurt again. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. You can do this. That wasn't that big a shot. You can take that. All right, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, next round. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. Costa's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the fall. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Boom! Big jab. And now he's got the back. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. Oh, right, it's a mount. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that was nice. Strickland getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh! Oh, this could do it. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Costa's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Hook shot lands. Under a minute to go in round two. Nice block. Just a relentless 
Not this effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Sean Strickland! All right, so off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it played out, and still UFC middleweight champion. Congratulations, Arnold. It makes you feel like you know what to 